Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Liz, and I make lots of different types of videos on my channel, but I really like making cleaning motivations like this video today. So I wanted to show you how I clean my grout using this really cool hack that I just thought up. So here's a couple images of what my grout looked like before. It was pretty dingy. It's been several months since I had actually deep cleaned my grout. I'd mopped every few weeks or so, but my grout had gotten really gross and really bad. Uh, I don't think it was ever properly sealed, so I think that's why it gets so bad so quickly. But anyways, jumping right into it, I'm going to be using a solution of two parts baking soda to one part hydrogen peroxide. And I'm just going to mix that up. I've used this solution for a really long time, and it works really great. But the new twist to it is I'm going to be putting it into this large gallon size Ziploc bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal up the Ziploc bag and use it kind of like an icing piping bag to put the mixture into the grout lines. So just as if you were icing a cake, I'm going to be putting the mixture into the grout lines using the Ziploc bag as if it were a icing piping bag. So as you can see, this makes the process of applying the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda mixture so much quicker and so much faster than just using a spoon or a toothbrush that you would typically use with this type of cleaning method. It makes it go so much faster. probably took me half the amount of time that it normally does to just apply the mixture. So once I had applied it, uh, there were a couple places that I had kind of missed and skipped over, so I just took my cleaning toothbrush and filled in those little gaps. And I let the mixture sit for about 15 minutes, and then I went back with my cleaning toothbrush and scrubbed the grout lines really well. So if you guys need some extra cleaning motivation, I've linked a playlist of some of my other cleaning videos, including cleaning hacks, speed cleaning, all kinds of different types of videos down in the description box below. And also, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, and if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. So as you can see here, my grout had gotten pretty bad. It had been several months since I had really deep cleaned this. So I'm really curious, how long do you guys usually go in between cleaning your grout? Do you go months? Do you never clean it? I'm just curious. Let me know down in the comments below. After I had scrubbed the solution pretty good, I took a damp microfiber cloth and I wiped up the excess baking soda solution. So as you can see here, the dirty grout is on the left and we're panning over to the clean grout on the right. It's still wet at this point, but you can really tell the difference with this comparison shot. So you can see how well this works even before the grout has even dried. So let's move on to the second half of my kitchen. This time I'm going to make the solution just a little bit thicker to make it easier for piping it out. So it's closer to a toothpaste consistency now but it's still slightly wetter than that and I'm just piping that into the grout lines again as you can see it's a little bit easier now that it's a little bit thicker If you end up using this hack, let me know down in the comments below how well it works for you. I'd be really curious to know. It worked wonders for me. It made the job so much easier. As you can see here, I'm just repeating the same process. I let it sit for 15 minutes and I'm going back through with my toothbrush and scrubbing each of the grout lines and then wiping it up with a damp microfiber cloth. I 
I feel so much more motivated to actually clean my grout now that I have figured out this hack for making it a little bit easier and less time consuming for me. And here is the after. I think it looks a thousand times better. It still hadn't dried completely at this point, so it actually gets a little bit lighter the next day. Let me know what you guys think of this video down in the comments below. If you're new, make sure you click that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!